Hey guys, pretty nice day here in the north today, I tell ya. Uh, it's pretty warm out. It's got to be about minus 13 degrees Celsius, that is. So I was away here for the weekend. Uh, I had my older brother, Will, there. He was uh, running my line for me. So thank you, Will. Thank you for uh, looking after my short little trap line here when, uh, when I was away. Just got a fire going in my cabin right now, and she's heating up good. So anyways, uh, I asked my brother to take my camera with him when he was running my line in case anything good happened or whatever, you know, just to record whatever he could. So, uh, and he did, of course. My father tagged along with him. Uh, so we'll just pass the camera off to my brother here for a minute. We just got out. It's a beautiful day here in the wild north. We're just coming down this trail and there's a nice little uh, cat sitting in one of his snares. So we're going to take care of this one for Andrew while he's away. Martin and Andrew's trap, look at that. Funny he doesn't get you Martin until you look after his line for him, eh? <laughs> Actually, I don't know how many this is, but uh, first one on this set. So. Wolverine. Oh. Wolverine? Wolverine, right in here. Caught in a leg hold, looks like. Must have had a leg hold in the back. Long them if you can get them. Oh, we're here. Good shot here. Yeah. Got him. Let him bleed out. Well, that's the trap that, was, that Andrew had last year here. That was fucking cool. What a wild, eh? Freaking busy. I Holy never seen shit. a live one in a trap before. Wow. That was that was awesome. That was scary. I was scared. Well, I was kind of wondering. I was gonna thinking I should have took your rifle there in case he pulled his toe out and decided to chew your leg off. <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight's 2020. Yeah, exactly. Well, number one for Andrew. <laughs> so we got a Lynx, we got a Martin, and a Wolverine. Well, Andrew's away in Calgary. Yeah. What's he got? The flu? <laughs> love flu or something? <laughs> Must be. The love bug. <laughs> oh, he's got to take a holiday too. <laughs> so you got him anyway. Freaking mean little. Look at, us, look at the shit he tore up around here. Holy That's frick, eh? Amazing. Come over here. That's unreal. Holy fuck. Looks like a bear had yeah. a big pile of shit in a bear or something, eh? Everything to shit. Huh. Wow. It's unreal. You know, it only snowed yesterday. Yeah. So he had to get caught here this morning to do this. Yeah. It's brutal. Oh, well, Andrew will be happy. Yeah, good day so far. Good day so far, exactly. <laughs> so anyways, that was pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so I didn't even look at that Wolverine yet. Uh, it's in my skinning shock, hanging in there with a Lynx too as well. So I'm pretty curious to have a look at him and see how he looks. I guess he's a little darker one, like I said, I didn't see him yet. And in the video, it never showed a whole lot of him up close. So uh, let's go have a look. You see here last night we got a couple inches of snow. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, it's definitely going to help out in the snaring operation. I got my other machine fixed and hauled out here. So uh, it's, it's a good start to the week guys. Okay, let's go have a look at this guy. 
So I guess this Wolverine was in the one set where I hid the two hidden lag bolts. Oh yeah, look at that. The two, uh, the one Connie bear with the two hidden lag holes is where this one came out of. Look at that, what a nice Wolverine. Really dark colored, huh? This is not the one that I was filming last year. The other one was a lot brighter. This one here is quite a bit darker. Smaller Wolverine. You know, I've caught him quite a bit bigger than this. That is a beauty. Look at that. Got nice links here too as well. It's a nice looking cat, man. And one Martin. Right on. First Martin of this year and first Wolverine of this year. I didn't even catch a Wolverine last winter. Uh, didn't do too well with Wolverines, but this is the number one for this season. So it's going to be kind of nice to actually uh, get him skinned and work with him. Seems how it's been, well, two years now since I since I did catch one. So that's a good man. Oh, look at that. He's got a, got a nice lighter crown on him. So what I'll do here, I'll, I'll get a fire going in my shack here and get him uh, get him thawed out and skin him. I'm not going to do that today. But that's going to happen in the next few days as well. So we've got a little bit of skinning to do here, which is good. I also got a whole bunch of lynx pulse that I that I skinned out. They've got to be boarded here as well. So I'm going to have to do that pretty soon. Uh, i got to get to work here and get my fur all done up. And uh, yeah, this is great. I'm pretty happy. Uh, thanks again, Will. Thanks for thanks again, Will, for running my line for me and uh, shooting that Wolverine. So it's I was pretty happy here when my brother got to go out and check my traps for me and I was pretty happy that he got to uh, experience a, a wolverine and a lag hold because they could be pretty intimidating. You know, I always told him, telling him about it and how they, how, how it was, you know, like they're just, they're crazy. They're such an animal, huh? So I'm pretty happy my, my brother got to experience that. I think that's the first time he's ever seen a uh, a uh, wolverine in a, uh, in a leg hole trap alive. He's seen him before I caught him in snares and connie bears, uh, but that's the first time he's seen one in a leg hold and he had to shoot it himself, so it was good. I asked him how it was and he said he was scared shitless. <laughs> and he had dad with him, was like, yeah, well, it's a little different when you're out by yourself, but anyways, well, good job on that. This is great, right on. So here's a set that my brother shot the wolverine in the other day. Yeah, he tore it up pretty good. You see, I had the 330, uh, 330 Duke dyed white here on the entrance way. In the back here, I had two hidden leg holes, one in here, and also another one over on that side there. So the one that got him was the one over there, got him by the hind foot. Uh, the 330 sprung off, he probably kicked some stick or something in it. Hopefully my moose head is still here, my new, oh yeah. So I don't have my gloves on, so I don't really want to touch it because it's a little bit stinky. I had uh, baited this one with a moose neck. This is good, I'm gonna re redo this set here. Well, I'm gonna go to beaver camp first, and I'm gonna redo this set on my way back and uh, hopefully get, hopefully we get another Wolverine in it. So that's pretty good, I'm pretty happy. That Wolverine, that I caught in here was the same wolverine that I lost at beaver camp. He was missing a couple toes. So, and across here in this set, I had a, uh, a little lynx snare trail. See a little rabbit in there, poor little fella. So we'll dispatch him, and uh, maybe I'll cook him up at beaver camp. Okay guys, carry on. Melt up a little bit of snow for my, uh, my rabbit. This year's little whatever kitten I know you'd call a, a young rabbit. So I'm just going to take the uh, I'll eat the two hinds. That'll be a nice, tasty little, little snack, lunch if you want to call it that. So a lot of people always ask if I if I set rabbit snares for rabbits. If 
for eating, but I usually don't because I get them in my lynx snares, especially when the snow comes up and uh, when the snow raises, my lynx snares are lower to the ground, the height for a rabbit, then I'll get them. So here I got my two little rabbit legs. Let's give them a quick little wash, rinse them off, clean all the hair off them, throw my little rabbit legs in there. For spices, I got Back Eddies, created by a chef for a chef. This is some pretty good uh, seasoning salt here. I use it on most everything. So uh, if you guys ever come across it, I highly recommend testing it out. We'll just sprinkle some of that on there. Use lots, don't be cheap. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. Yeah, good old Back Eddies. This is one of my favorites. I use this on smoked meat, fish, uh, everything. I'm sure you guys seen it in a, a few of my other videos. So that'll be good. So I'll turn some heat up on here. So I boiled my little rabbit legs for a little while. Now I will uh, grill them. So I'll have to find some heavy rope. I know I have some here, I just don't remember exactly where I put it. Because I want to. Uh, I want to haul my yellow sleigh back, it's still where, where it was last week, so I'm going to tow that back, I'll just throw my black sleigh and the big yellow sleigh, because i got to get Charlie's little carriage built so I can get him out here, and i got some moose meat, eventually I want to get my smoker going here in the next week or two, and uh, hang out at beaver camp for a few nights, but it'd be kind of nice to have Charlie's company out here with me, so I'll set a few traps and snares on my way, you see i got a couple old jackfish here, I'll use these for wolverine bait because wolverine just love fish, huh? So I'll try and get another wolverine in that same set with uh, the moose neck in it and set a couple more as well. You see, this is a, the, exactly the reason why I built beaver camp. For what I'm doing right now, you know, stop in, have a coffee and a quick lunch or whatever. So uh, yeah, I sure am happy that it got built though. Uh, I love it here, man. It's uh, pretty damn peaceful. Sure is smelling good. You could really smell the uh, ice seasoning on there. Made a couple little cuts in the in the legs there just so it'll cook a little faster because you don't got a whole lot of daylight. Gotta keep flipping them because I don't want them to burn either. I like cooking them on top of the uh, airtight wood stove like this. It also it gives it a, a smoke flavor to it as well, huh? So you know it's uh, it's great, man. I love it. Looks good. Looks really hot. <laughs> that, that is pretty damn good. You know, I was down, I was away for a few days down in the city, you know, which is good uh, for a few days, anyways. Uh, coming back here, you know, kind of made me realize how lucky I am to be able to do what I got to do, to be able to do what I do, I should say. Uh, like this is, uh, it's can't compare to it. You know, it's it's crazy, huh? So I was down in Calgary with my friend Petrina. We had a wonderful time. Uh, she was blogging our little trip as well. So if you want to see what we are up to, uh, check out her channel, Petrina Shell. Uh, her video should be up here in the next couple days. Well, it's probably up now by the time you guys watch this. But can't beat this man. You can't compare to it. It's uh, something else. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna finish my little uh, rabbit here. Get geared up and hit the trap line because it's gonna be dark pretty soon. I still got a lot of work to do here before I get back to the cabin. I got a long ways to go.
So let's have a look at the set here where the Wolverine, where I got the Wolverine the other day. Uh, you see here, he chewed the shit out of the stick. Chewed it all up, he must have kicked it or threw it. And it sprung off the Connie Bear. Now you see if you ever spring in your Connie Bear traps, don't ever use a stick to spring them because it actually bends the bars. Now you see on this Connie Bear here, the bars are bent on it. And that might be enough play, or there's, <clears throat> there's a big, big enough gap in there. When you catch the animal, it won't really squish them good, you know, it won't. They could just hold them there. And you know, you, these traps are designed to, to kill them pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna have to do with this one here, I'll, I'll close the springs on it and I'm gonna have to straighten that out with my, with my hatchet. So yeah, I don't have my big setters with me, but I'll use the old rope way. That's pretty simple. I'll show you guys how that's done if you're not familiar with it. I was just coming to reset my two hidden lag holds here. See this one here. He's got, uh, he was chewing on it, huh? I could see teeth marks on it. And the rubber's just about chewed off as well. And also the uh, trigger's missing, just like the last one, huh? You see, that's how smart these wolverines are. You know, he got out of one already and he was trying to do the same. See, look underneath, you can see all those teeth mark on there. It's crazy. Look at that. That rubber is just about, just about got her out. Smart little guy. He was a chewer, him. So anyways, I'll reset that one there. This one here I won't reset. Uh, and I'll do the 330 last. So to close these big springs on this Connie bear, I'll just use this piece of rope. And this is a good way to do it. You know, if you ever did get your hand caught in there, you could do it this way because you only need one hand to do this with this way here. Now you see that's how it should be when it's closed. Now look on the other side where the stick went in. Look at that big gap in it. It's not good. I'll straighten that out.
Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with this set. I thought I hid that 330 pretty good in there. You know, I could really smell Wolverine musk all around this whole area. You know, he must have pissed all over. So anyways, that trap is live, ready to go. Got one hitted leg holding the back. Take a little bit of snow around. We're done here, guys. Let's uh, carry on down the line. Going that way. Well, that was good. I got my sleigh hauled back in uh, one piece. Not too much trouble. I got a new hitch for that. I brought in from town there. I'll replace that tomorrow, or maybe even tonight. Better check an old Charlie boy here. He's always got to check the sleigh. Hey, my buddy. How you doing, Charlie? Yeah, straight over to the sleigh. See what's in there. How you doing, my boy, huh? Only one rabbit today, Charlie boy. One old rabbit today. <laughs> he knows I go out and uh, usually bring back something. Hey, settle down, my buddy. Settle down. I know, I know. Let's go inside and have a coffee, my boy. Have some supper. You good. What did you do all day anyways, Charlie, huh? Look out the window. Probably dead. <laughs> Anyways guys, it was a good day today. Uh, a lot of my sets, Wolverine was coming in through the back and uh, taking the bait, so I rebaited a bunch, reset my other set, got my sleigh hauled back. Uh, it's a good successful day today. So tomorrow, I'm gonna play around with that Wolverine. He's just close by too, he's not too far. Anyways guys, we'll uh, talk to you another day.